Hi, I'm Alice and I'm a young rep for Young Epilepsy. I'm here today with Bernardo's as Young Epilepsy are working with them to help children and young people across England, including those with epilepsy. Young Epilepsy are involved in delivering the See, Hear, Respond programme in partnership with Bernardo's. Young Epilepsy are aiming to support children and young people with epilepsy and their families who may be struggling or who need support as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. Today, we are here talking to Roy, a senior practitioner from Bernardo's, who is going to tell us a bit more about the See, Hear, Respond programme and how you can get involved. Hi, Roy. Hi, Alice. Thanks for having me. So I've just got a few questions for you, if that's OK. Absolutely. So first of all, I'd like to know what is the See, Hear, Respond programme and why is it needed now? So. See, Hear, Respond is a programme that's been funded by the Department for Education. Um, it's been run by Bernardo's, but it's not just Bernardo's who are involved in the work. It's a partnership of local and national charities and other voluntary sector organisations. Um, and this programme is really here to help give targeted support to young people and children and families who are experiencing some sort of hardship an increased struggle, increased risk because of COVID-19 and because of lockdown um, and particularly young people and families where they're probably currently hidden from the sight of other professionals and See, Here Respond is able to offer immediate short-term support to those families um, just in order to help them get by. Okay, brilliant. So um, as you probably know, young epilepsy support children and young people. Could the See, Here Respond programme help? Absolutely, we can definitely help. We're helping a huge range of families and young people with a, a really wide range of circumstances. Some young people who were not at all vulnerable in any way before lockdown, but increasingly we're seeing lots of families where young people might have, um, you know, additional needs, um, things that just kind of usually make their lives a little bit more difficult, but probably have a lot of support from professionals. And all of that has gone, unfortunately, um, or it's a lot more difficult for them to be able to see people. Um, so we would definitely be able to help people who have any additional needs, including epilepsy. Brilliant. What support is available for from young epilepsy for young people who have epilepsy and also for their families? Yes. Yeah, so there are three strands of support available um, and Young Epilepsy are offering strands one and strands three of the programme. So the first one is digital support, um, which is obviously a lot easier to deliver um, because it doesn't require people to be face to face. So that might just be a little bit of advice and signposting. It might be somebody who knows they need some help but isn't sure who to go to. And we can get someone to work with that family to find out what is available, what other organisations and charities can they go to. It might be help with anything. It might be help with accessing mental health support, um, with healthcare, with housing, anything. Um, we've also then within that strand got the option to deliver a digital therapeutic support. So that might be online counselling, something really intense like online counselling for young people who need that, down to just kind of other digital therapeutic work to help young people talk through how they're feeling. Lockdown's been pretty tough for most of us, I think, and especially for a lot of young people, it's completely new to them and all their normal support structures have gone. So just having the opportunity to talk to somebody. Um, and then we're also doing some online group work as well. Quite a few of our um, charity partners are doing work with groups around all number of different issues. And then the final strand, which is the most beefy one, um, is 20 hours of support that we can offer around um, reintegration to education. So sort of getting young people ready to go back to school. It's coming. September is literally only around the corner at the time of us filming this video. Um, and we know for a lot of young people, they might not have had any contact with school at all since March, which is a really, really long time. And they might be really worried about getting behind on schoolwork. They might be really anxious because they've not seen friends and access their support networks. They might just be worried about what school is going to be like in a post COVID-19 world and how yeah. schools are going to manage with lockdown and are they going to be safe? So we're able to provide a lot of support for young people um, around, you know, structure and routine and getting used to getting up early again, which might be something that people haven't done for a long time. Um, and that's a really, really intense package of support that will help young people get ready to go back into education whenever that happens for them. 
Mm, that sounds brilliant. That so, like sounds like such a sort of varied support system that is really yeah. going to make a massive impact on so many young people. Um, so what kind of a difference do you think that this will make? There are a lot of families we're talking to where they didn't think any support was going to be available for them because maybe the places they would usually go to can't offer it at the moment. Um, so as soon as they found out there might be something on offer, you know, they were putting referrals into us. Um, we, we already know it's making a real difference. It's just giving young people some short term support. They're not having to wait months and months for on a waiting list. Um, and it's able to give people that help before anything gets to crisis point. It's been so important, I think, to do this early help when things are maybe just about to get quite bad um, for particular families and they need that support now. Um, and I think it's just been able to help a lot of young people and families just get back on track um, mm. and support that they didn't think was going to be out there is now available for them. Yeah, that's amazing. Who's going to be delivering this support? So obviously Bernardo's are a big part of the, the program. We've got a huge range of our different services within Bernardo's who are offering all this work in, in various parts of England. Um, but then we're also working with local and national charities and other organizations. The way it would work is we get the referral, my team, um, and it might be from a professional. It might be directly from that young person or it might be from someone in their family and then we talk to them and we we do a bit of an assessment and find out what's going on what are the issues who's going to be the best person to help and then we pass that across to the best place person so if we're talking to someone and they mention that they've got epilepsy or someone in their family has epilepsy we would be looking at passing those them across potentially to young epilepsy or caseworkers to do that work mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds great. That sounds like you're you're going to have such a big outreach and like be able to sort of represent so many different people. So my final question to you is how can I and other people like me get involved? So you can get involved firstly by going to the See Here Responds webpage on the Bernardo's website. Um, so if you go to www.bernardos.org.uk slash see dash here dash respond. And Bernardo's has two R's in it. It's really important to remember a lot of us, even people who work for Bernardo's forget that sometimes. Um, and you can find lots of information on there about the program. There's a link on there to our online support hub. Um, and you can also find the referral forms if you or someone you know might need some support. Um, or you can call the helpline. So that's run 9am till 9pm, Monday to Friday, and also 10 till 6 on weekends. Um, and that number is 0800 157 seven zero one five you can contact young epilepsy themselves directly um about the support that you might need so that they can then find the right person for you um and there's no judgment at all from us you might just as a parent or a young person just want to call up to find out if we can help you um and we definitely will in some form or other even if we're just kind of passing you on to somebody else who can give you the best possible information um, please do feel free to give us a chat um, and you might think it's a tiny tiny problem that you have got within your family and just something really little and you might think oh, there's other people out there who've got more serious problems a problem is a problem and we can help um, so please do get in contact with us brilliant that's really informative so um just to finish off i'd just like to say thank you so much for your time today we've really appreciated speaking to you um and it was great to hear more about the see here respond program and i can really see how it's going to help young people particularly those with epilepsy to be able to get the support that they might need um, so if you are a young person who thinks that you may benefit from some support from young epilepsy all you need to do is contact Young Epilepsy through our helpline and you can do this by visiting the channel at thechannel.org.uk and then go to the talk to us button or you can email us directly on support.referrals at youngepilepsy.org.uk and we'll be able to work with you to get you the support that you need. So make sure you get involved now.